work to fully restore power in Abaco continues. Infrastructure on that island was damaged during Hurricane Dorian, the Category 5 storm that made landfall back in September 2019. According to BPL's chairman, Dr. Donovan Moxie, more than 90% of the affected areas are energized. There are a couple of areas where we're still paying attention to. For instance, um, there's an area in Marsh Harbor called Eastern Shores. And that's an area that where the bridge got washed out completely. And so now we're in the process of uh, working with, uh, obviously, the Ministry of Works to have the road repaired. We're putting in underground uh, cabling to get out to that area. And we hope within the next six weeks to have that particular area energized. There's also some external keys, in particular, an area where we call sort of the southern route, the southern islands in Abaco, uh, where we're still um, uh, working to get the cabling uh, to those particular parts of Abaco and get that energized. And in fact, uh, we intend to have those southern islands, uh, the main southern island, which is, I believe, Lover's Key, energized by um, uh, Saturday of this week, and then we'll work to get the other islands energized as well. So the BPL team, coupled with the support that we got from Carol Act, as well as all the other agencies, have done a great job, in my opinion, in bringing Abaco go back in terms of energizing those areas. Now we're working on completing the transmission line so that rather than having generation sites in uh, various places with an Abaco in the Keys, we can now rely on getting generation from uh, Wilson City, uh, which has about 48 megawatts. Moxie says work on completing the transmission line is being done and the company can rely on getting power from Wilson City, which has about 48 megawatts. He also spoke about the impact the pandemic had on the work timeline. The pandemic really affected us uh, from a timeline and a resources perspective because uh, when the storm first hit, we got quite a number of support in terms of resources from Carolac because we're part of Carolac as a uh, Caribbean utility. And it so happened that uh, the contracts that we were on, they began to expire for the Carolac, Carolac workers around January, February. And we were looking to get additional resources from the Caribbean, but when the pandemic hit, and all of the travel restrictions started to come into play and people weren't certain, that really, um, for us, it limited the resources that we had available. And obviously, when you look at the responsibilities that the government had and where we were getting our funding from, uh, there were some delays in funding for us as well. And so it did impact us, but we were able to uh, adapt to the situation and essentially utilize the resources that we had available to us on Abaco, as well as in New Providence, as well as the other family island uh, BPL employees to really focus on bringing Abaco back. And so now we've hit our stride. We understand how to work within the COVID environment. And uh, I believe we've made some significant progress over the last several months.